Hey, it's Midnight Raven, and today I want to share with you some of my sticker mosaics from Kaleidoscope. So recently I bought you a video showcasing some of my pictures that I have been doing out of my wild creatures um, sticker book and also I believe I've also shown you some of my natural wonders that I had done. I got these from the works and these two are still available in the works as of yesterday. Um, so they were not down to a fiver. Um, and what I did is once I'd done them for like a week or two, I then took a look online and I then found this one, which is the Neon Nature. Now this was around the same price, it was around a fiver. Um, and this again had animals in it, but these were neon animals. So they were meant to look twice as bright and I have a comparison that we can look at. And if you haven't seen these before, basically they are empty pictures or half empty pictures with numbers. And then you go to the back and you follow the colours and the numbers and you create mosaics, a variety of stuff. So I have done some recently that I'd like to share with you. Um, someone on my channel called Barry's Views said he would love to see my creativeness um, as I have done some creative videos recently with my Mother's Day boxes um, and my Easter card that I made and I also made pocket letters for Easter. I also made cards for Easter so aside from the Easter stuff I have been busy 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 doing my sticker mosaic. So here we have this beautiful toucan. I want to say it's a toucan. I'm not quite sure. I'm not up on my animals, but this looks like a toucan. And basically, like I said, the stickers are um, color coordinated and numbered. They arrange from little tiny little stickers. Obviously you've got the eye and then you get bigger ones. It all depends on the sticker. Um, but you do get parts of it which are normal, so the feet and the branch on this was normal and then the bird itself I did, so that's pretty coloured. These are neon, so this is the neon and this is a normal wild creature, so as you can see we are going for the more, okay this one is in brown, but we're still going for the more vibrant colours. This one is one out of the wild creatures that you will be seeing very soon. Then we did Mr. Turtle. Look at that. How cool is that? So obviously the shells and his arms and his head are fake, but his body is 100% stickers. So you can see it makes all kinds of shapes. And that on the back of these, they're just colours, just to um, not do it so you can see through it. I thought that was kind of cool. I do love turtles. I watched Our Planet recently. If you've seen Our Planet recently on Netflix, I love turtles. And I do actually have a video coming about Netflix as well, which you'll want to check out very soon. Um, telling you everything I watched in April. People like the idea of that. So there's my turtle. Then we did this gorgeous um, hummingbird. Look at him. Sometimes you get some of the stickers catch on other ones because I need to store these a bit better or maybe box frame them and cut them off there and there. Maybe box frame them. I don't know. I'll do something with these. Here's my hummingbird. Again, the flower down here isn't real, but the bird is. And you've got striking purple and I love the green and the yellow. Just give them that proper colour. Um, this one is one of my favourites. This is my red panda. Now look at him. His tail is fake up to about here. Um, some of his body here is fake um, and then you've got the grass and everything which is fake but the panda itself is all real and I did all the intricate detailing that on his face which looks pretty cool. Again on the back nice vibrant colours that go with it. Um, and I thought the red panda looked pretty cool. Next we have my jellyfish. Now this was a big one. The jellyfish itself is all stickers and then his tentacles, two out of the three, were also um, 
stickers and then you got the other two tentacles which weren't and then you got little bubbles going around him but I thought that was really cool very intricate this one it did take a while you've obviously got to go backwards and forwards from the sticker to the page and it does take I want to say it takes maybe an hour or two to do some of these some of them a bit more because of how tiny the stickers are it can be a little bit fumbly um, but you can re-peel them off and put them back as long as you don't do it too many times. Then we got this awesome butterfly look at him. And when I mean about the um, the intricateness of it, you've got these little tiny ones here and here. It's not all just great big blocks. You have got little small ones and big ones. And then you've got these little intricate ones. And the only thing on here was his wings. The rest of it is obviously... Um, fake and you've got the flower and then we've got a blue background so the backgrounds kind of correspond with what's on the front um so that when if it was to show through it would show the same color um i do love this butterfly it was a little bit more detailed it did take maybe an extra half hour compared to others because of how small the pieces are it's a really delicate trying to get them in next you would have seen this i think in a previous one I think I did a flamingo. Yeah, I did a flamingo in the Wild Creatures book, but there's also a flamingo in the Neons. I also want to order two other books that they have, which is Landscapes, which I can't wait to order. And there was another one that was called Floral, which was like flowers. Um, at the time, I tried to order, I think it was the flowers, but they were out of stock. So I'm going to order the flowers and the landscapes as well. I'd like to get the entire series if I possibly can. So this again, very intricate detailing. All the flamingo, even his feet on this one were done by me. So the feet, the body and the head. The only thing that's fake is the sea behind. Because um, if it was all stickers, it wouldn't pop. So um, by having just the animal in the stickers, it gives it that pop. And again it's just blue on the back but I love this one it did take a while um, their legs and all that it is and quite a number of stickers but it's good that it takes time you know Rome wasn't built in a day and you rush them and then you finish them and then you're like well what am I gonna do next you know <clears throat> here we have a cobra now he looked really cool so the snake itself up to about here is all stickers and then you've obviously got the tail and the dirt which are fake so if you can see it starts about here and then you've got this vibrant pink head which i thought was well cool you've got a nice green body which goes down into this like ready color um and then you've got this gorgeous bluey perfy color just on the outline just to give it a little, a little bit and then on the back we've got that vibrant green again and i absolutely love that and then the last one for this video, I am going to be bringing you more videos. I have done some more of the normal and of the landscape one. And I'm also going to bring you hopefully the two new ones um, once I've purchased them. Hopefully I'm purchasing them this week. And then my last one has probably been the most fiddliest. This had so many stickers and they were so small. Um... Some of the other ones that I've done have had like giant stickers like the turtle, they were huge. This one is so intricate and so detailed. I did this. I know. So the bird itself up until here is obviously fake, but I did all the bird all the way down. And it took four. Oh no, I've got one off. One of them's fallen off. We'll ignore that one. There you go. So one of them has fallen off. Oh, that's a shame. I'm sure I can find it. It's probably stuck to the other piece of paper. That's what happens when you don't do them properly, but I'll find it. But yeah, the peacock itself, in its beauty and awe, looking majestic there. So many details, and that actually took a long time. You wouldn't think so, but there are so many stickers in each of that square inch of paper and again gorgeous purple on the back i will find that sticker it's probably just fallen off having them rub against each other but i'll find it so these are really cool and fun and like i said they don't cost 
a huge amount. Okay, in hindsight, the books themselves, um, when I bought the uh, original two, uh, these were originally £13 not down to a fiver. So if you'd have bought these brand spanking new in a shop, you'd have paid 13 Um But what I did is I went on Amazon and looked for one and I got it for this one that I got was um i think it was five or six and it had free p and p so if you look hard enough on places like amazon and that you can find these relatively cheap you don't have to pay 13 pound retail um like i said they were knocked down this one you can still get on amazon there's a landscape and there's a floral one i'm dying to get the floral one if you know me and you watch my channel you know i love flowers and floral aromas and the landscape one i'm hoping for stuff like the eiffel tower golden gate bridge maybe big ben um but these are really nice they're not really for kids they are very detailed and intricate i would say they're more for adults or maybe late teenage um years but they do have a variety there some of them do appear in both books as a normal and as a neon. Uh, there are a couple of sames. The bird is the same. The flamingo. I think the butterfly. The lion is the same. But we do have a new whale, a horse. The turtle was new. The cobra, the peacock. So there's only like two or three that were the same. Um, but that's fine because, you know, they're different colours, it's not like it's the same thing. It is the same design of the animal, but it's just um, the different stickers. But I did love this. I do have some more coming and I want to order the other two as soon as possible so that I can bring you them. If you enjoyed this video and you'd love to see uh, more of these, I am going to do more of these anyway. But it would be nice to know if you want to give me a big thumbs up and let me know that you enjoyed this video i enjoy these i find these very therapeutic um they're not time consuming you can spend half hour doing these or spend an hour doing them and then stop and come back you don't have to sit there and finish an entire animal in um, one session you can do a couple of bits come back a couple of bits come back spend an entire weekend doing it um, you can take these on holiday with you. They're really small. It's just a flat book, really. Um, yeah, I'll probably take some of these on holiday with me and sit in the glamping pod, maybe, um, and do them, depending on what I've got left, because I'm getting through these. But, um, yeah, I'm going to be showing you some of the nature wonders and the wild creatures next time, unless I get the other two and manage to do some more before then. But I've enjoyed doing them. Um, thank you to Barry for telling me to be more creative. Look what I went out and done. Um, I'm getting creative and it's relaxing as well. You don't know how relaxing it is just to sit there and stick. Uh, it may seem a bit childish, you know, putting stickers in a book. But I've created some wonderful pieces of, I want to say, art. Um, so if you haven't already and you love this video, big thumbs up, like and subscribe. I will link the last video I did of this. Uh, I did do another video with my first slot. I will link that at the end of this one. Do stay tuned for more and I'll see you very soon. Bye.